Welcome. This is going to be a all levels yoga class focused on standing sequences. So we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to start standing. This can be nice if maybe you're feeling a lot of energy and you want to have a little bit more of that activity. You're not ready to settle down. It'll be a shorter practice. So come to stand at the front of your mat. Go ahead and just close your eyes. Your feet can be however they land in today, maybe a few inches, a feet apart. Go ahead and take a few breaths to arrive. Letting your knees relax, feeling the weight sink down into your feet. Letting your eyes close if they're not already. And almost imagine like a cool liquid floating from the crown of your head down your head, back of your neck, spine, your shoulders are relaxed, your arms to your hands, your fingertips are relaxed, feeling your belly be soft as the breath moves within, let the glutes relax, let the knees relax, feeling your feet, all 10 toes, your heels on the mat, go ahead, feeling that right foot, feeling that left foot, just take three breaths here, letting anything you don't need just sink into the ground. Let it go, let it go away from you. On the next inhale, feel the energy rising up through your feet, through the legs, bringing a subtle energy into your midsection, over your shoulders, up your arms, to the crown of your head as you grow tall and as you exhale, just letting yourself relax the knees. Inhaling, letting that energy come up through the center line, through the crown of your head, and as you exhale, just softening and relaxing, finding that balance of energy and relaxation. Go ahead and flutter your eyes open. Let's bring our hands to our heart. Inhaling, low belly, mid belly, upper chest, and as you exhale out through your mouth. <sighs> Inhaling, low belly, mid belly, upper chest, once again, sawing out through your mouth. <sighs> Letting it go, really nice. Last time, like that, inhaling through your nose. Exhaling out through your mouth, relax your hands. <sighs> really nice, the palms can face forward. Let's go ahead and inhale the shoulders up down and back, gently waking up the body. Inhaling and exhaling, really nice. Go ahead and take those circles in the other direction. Inhaling and exhaling. Hmm. Really using the breath to nourish the body. On your exhale, let your hands relax. Let your chin fall in towards your chest. Taking a breath here, keeping that length through the back of your spine. Go ahead on the inhale, let right ear to right shoulder. And then exhale through center. Inhale, left ear to left shoulder. Exhale through center. Inhaling, left e right ear to right shoulder. Exhaling down. Inhaling, left ear to left shoulder. One more time like that. Just waking up the neck. Taking your time. And when you come back to center, we'll pause. On the inhale, let your head and neck rise. Go ahead, turn the palms face up. On the inhale, let's rise our arms to the sky, reaching up, maybe gaze follows. Exhale, palms facing down, moving away from you. Inhaling, sweeping the arms up. And exhaling, as if you're moving through water, trying really inviting a count of five. Inhale two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, last time, inhale, two, three, four, Five, hold, go to exhale, dropping your right hand on the next exhale. Let your left ear fall into your left shoulder. Let that left hand come to the side of your head and neck. Let the arm, the head, the neck relax. 
and just breathing through using that left arm as a weight, creating space between the right ear and the right shoulder, not pulling, just allowing, and you're welcome now to let the chin come a little bit more into the chest if you'd like, more of a stretch behind the spine, down the shoulder line, just kind of searching for where the tension might be in your body. One more breath like this. On the exhale, drop the chin, drop the arm back through center, and inhale, and neck comes up. Inhale, sweeping your arms up, remembering that count of five. And on the exhale, go ahead, dropping that left hand, let the right ear come in towards the right body. Go ahead, placing that right hand on the ear, relaxing the left. Inhaling as you exhale, feeling that left shoulder move away from that left ear. And just breathing through gently and subtly. Go ahead and your next exhale, let the chin fall a little bit more into the chest, maybe adjusting where that hand is. And just searching for where you might have tension in your neck, along the spine, down the shoulder. Finding balance and ease. On your next exhale, let drop that right hand, head comes to center, and inhaling up really nice. Can be nice just to shake that out. Allow some movement. Coming back to standing, we're gonna do another little bit for the arms and the shoulders. So you can go ahead when you're ready, inhaling the arms up once again. And on the exhale, bring that left hand down around and up the right elbow bend. So maybe you get here, just grasp onto some clothing. If you can walk your hands together, go ahead and do that to meet behind your back. And just be careful you're not hunching to do this really opening underneath that right upper arm, maybe closing your eyes, growing tall through your spine, grounded in your feet, one more breath. Now your exhale, go ahead, relaxing the arms. Inhale, this time the left arm comes up, exhale, bending the elbows, the right hand comes up, same thing, you can grasp onto a shark if this is too hard for you. And just opening underneath that left upper arm, that left armpit, maybe even closing your eyes, letting that breath move into the areas of tightness. One more breath here. And on the exhale, go ahead, relax your hands and shake it out once again. We'll do one more shoulder opening exercise. You can go ahead, let's inhale our arms out to the side, relax your shoulders down and away. On the exhale, you're going to go ahead and bring the right arm underneath the left arm across in front, and then maybe bring your palms to touch. Same thing here. So you're feeling a really nice stretch behind the shoulders, but don't lift and crunch. Really keep that length in your neck, pressing down into your feet, and breathing through. This is easy. You can rise your elbows up. Otherwise, just stay where you are. Maybe you only get a little bit of the way. If you need to keep your hands on your shoulders, you can do that too. And then on your exhale, let's release arms back to T, relaxing the shoulders down, opening the chest away from you. On the exhale, let the left arm come underneath. The palms work towards touch of the center line in front of your face. This is eagle arms. Inhaling and exhaling, enjoying this stretch. Same thing here, you can always keep your arms, your hands on your shoulders if this is too much. Really being the own judge of your practice, using your own body awareness. No need to push yourself. And on the exhale, arms to T, and then relax. We'll go ahead now and write some sun salutations. We're going to just start with sun breath, which is a modified movement at the beginning of that. So I have two mats set up to demonstrate. You're fine with one just in front of you. Go ahead, bring your hands to your heart. You can have your toes, your big toes touching, a little bit of space between the heels if that's comfortable. On the inhale, we're gonna sweep our arms up, and on the exhale, bending and folding forward, rounding the spine. Inhale, flat back, and exhale, relax the spine. Inhale, push into your feet, rising yourself up, creating heat, and exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweeping the arms up once again. Exhale, hinging up the hips as we fold forward, rounding down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, go ahead and relax your head and neck. 
Inhale, push down into the feet, rising our arms up, taking the whole breath, and exhale, hands to our heart. One more time, inhale, sweeping the arms up. As you exhale, folding forward, rounding down. Inhale, flat back, hands can be on shins, and exhale, relaxing that. Inhale, sweeping the arms up, and exhale, hands to heart. Really nice. And you can go ahead and have a block here, or a book if that's what you have for when we do a forward fold if you're a little tight today. If you're ready, we'll inhale, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, go ahead, folding forward, bending the knees. You can walk your feet a little bit further apart, finding Uttanasana. If you find you're really struggling to reach the ground, go ahead and bring that block so that you can let the knees relax. Still feeling very grounded in your feet, let your head and neck relax. Take a few breaths here. If you want to go ahead, bring hands to opposite elbows. You can do that. Kind of swinging side to side. Inhaling and exhaling. You can go ahead. Everyone can find stillness here. And if you're having a hard time touching your hip fingertips or your palms to the mat, go ahead, bring your block. We're going to bring it under our right hand Bending the right knee, keeping the left straight, and let's inhale, watching the left hand as we rise it tall, opening across the shoulder, getting a nice stretch in that left leg. If you want to go ahead, if this is too hard, bring the hand to the hip, and breathe through here. Any and all variations, welcome. Just kind of getting a really nice stretch deep in that right knee, straighten the left. One more breath, and on the exhale, bring that left arm down, straighten. The legs, go ahead. If you're using the block, under the left hand, deep bend in the left knee. Let's inhale, watching the right palm as we reach towards the sky. Making sure you're not collapsing into the shoulders of the legs. Getting a really nice stretch along that right leg, into the hip, into the back. Stacking shoulder on top of shoulder. And breathing through here. One more breath. From the exhale, go ahead, bring that palm down, relax your head and neck. On the inhale, we'll roll up, vertebra by vertebra. Really nice. And from here, we're going to go ahead and do some wind release movements. So these are deceptively simple. <laughs> we'll go ahead, find your Tadasana. And essentially what this does, it's going to bring some wind and movement to the joints. So go ahead, feeling very secure in your feet. When you're ready, we can pour the weight into your right leg. Go ahead, lift the left, and then lift the left foot and just circle with the foot. Just circle at the ankle. Breathing through here, waking up the ankle joints, the foot, the toes. Then go ahead, moving from the knee, circling the knee in one direction. Maybe circling in the other direction, just letting it Relax and hang, letting the energy move. Go ahead, moving from the hip, maybe you bend the knee. And just breathing through, really becoming aware of all of these joints in your body. Go ahead, take the circles in the other direction. Really nice. It's okay if you wobble or fall. Go ahead, place that left foot down. Really nice, so the weight pours into the left. Go ahead and lift the right foot. Same thing here, so circling with the right at the right ankle. And just breathing through here, feeling the energy relax and move. You can go ahead, circling in the other direction, letting the toes relax, letting the ankle relax. When you're ready, we'll move from the knee, just the lower part of the leg. Really allowing it to move in space. Go ahead, take the circles in the opposite direction. Just try your best. Like I said, these can look easy, but not necessarily are. Go ahead, take the circles in from your hip, that right hip. Remembering to breathe and just relax, letting that energy move. Feeling where? You are where that leg is in space. Go ahead, take the circles to stop. Bring that right foot down. And go ahead, just notice now how the energy might be moving in your feet. We'll take the hands to the hips. We're gonna do some circles from the hips. So inhale forward and circle around as we exhale. Inhale and exhale. You can bend the knees a little bit. Just arching and bending. 
Taking the circles in the other direction, inhaling and exhaling really nice. And then you can go ahead, coming back to center, pause and relax the arms. And we'll move into the arms now. So bringing your awareness into your right palm. Go ahead, circle from your right wrist, just your right wrist, but let that relaxation and that flow, that openness and suppleness be in the whole arm. Just taking some circles with the right arm, let the fingers relax. Go ahead, take the circles in the other direction. Inhaling and exhaling. You can go ahead and now moving from the elbows. So we're inviting some movement in the lower arm and here it can feel nice sometimes. Let's do a little bit of figure eights in one direction. Maybe in the other direction, really becoming acquainted with how your arm is moving space, making the circles and movements a little bit wider into your shoulder. One direction, maybe into the other. If it feels good, you can invite even bigger circles, but just moving with your breath, waking up the body really nice. You can go ahead and exhale, relax that right arm, feeling how it is energized from the movements. Go ahead. Now, bring your awareness into the left arm, circling from the left wrist, just the left wrist, waking up the finger joints, taking the circles in the other direction. Maybe you get some cracks or crunches, that's totally normal, especially if you're practicing in the morning. <laughs> After finding stillness for so long, sleeping or sitting, it can be nice to let the joints move. Go ahead now, moving from the elbow, just that left lower arm is moving, circling in the other direction. Like before, if it feels good to try some figure eights, feel free. And then you can go ahead and return to circles as we bring the movement into our shoulder. Moving from the left shoulder, taking your time, opening a little bit wider, however you feel comfortable, just Knowing how much your body, how much your joints can move. Taking the circles in the other direction. Really nice. Moving the, what they call wind or vata. And yoga throughout the body. The air, the flow, go ahead and relax that. Feeling how your left arm is energized. The last one will be your head and neck. So on the exhale, let the chin fall in toward the chest. Inhale, right ear to right shoulder. Exhaling all the way around. Inhaling. And exhaling. And then when you come back to center, go ahead, pause, and take the circles in the other direction. Taking your time. back to center just pause let the energy settle and then inhale let your chin come up on your chest bring your hands to your heart just noticing how those subtle movements can bring a really nice circulation and flow throughout your entire body just gently feeling the aliveness if you'd like to invite an intention while we're here with the hands and the heart go ahead and close your eyes everyone can just Allow your feet to feel grounded. If you'd like to move with some ease today, some strength, some relaxation, whatever comes to you, allow them to guide your practice. You can open your eyes and we'll do a few sun salutations, Surya Namaskar A. I'm gonna go ahead and turn a little bit on the mat. You can stay where you are when you're ready. We'll inhale, sweeping the arms up. And as you exhale, folding forward, you're welcome to bend the knees. Inhale, flat backs, hands on shins or floating. Exhale, plant the hands and step it back to down dog. It's our first down dog here, so you're welcome to bend and straighten the knees. Maybe taking your feet a little bit wider if that feels good. The fingers are wide. And just walking that out. Go ahead, pause here. Let the head and neck relax. Maybe not a yes, maybe not a no. Inhale, let the hips rise. And on the exhale, let the inner heels relax. When you're ready, we'll inhale, rolling forward into a plank. Hold here for two breaths. So inhale, lengthen across the front of your body. Exhale, 
Inhale, lengthen across the back of your body. Exhale, go ahead and lower down, knees, chest, chin, or all at once, taking your time. Inhale, or cobra if you're ready for up dog. And exhale, back to down dog. Inhale, once here, on the exhale, look between your hands and gently, step by step, bring your feet up to meet your hands. Taking your time here, let's go ahead, inhale, rising up, gaze can fall, and exhale, hands to the heart. Really nice, we'll do that two more times. Inhaling, sweeping the arms up, exhale, falling forward, rounding down. Inhale, flat back, creating some heat, exhale, plant the hands, Downward dog. As always, you're welcome to make any and all modifications. Let your heels relax. Feeling the length across your shoulders. Feeling that relaxation in your hamstrings, your calves, even down to the soles of your feet. When you're ready, let's inhale, roll it forward into plank. And exhale, lower down, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale in cobra or up dog. And exhale back to down dog. Inhale once here. Exhale, go ahead and look between your hands. Step or hop if you'd like to bring your feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, rising up, gaze and follow. And exhale, hands to the heart. Last time, inhale, sweeping our arms up. Exhale, moving with intention as we lower down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands. Down dog. You can go ahead, inhale, rolling forward, and exhaling, lowering down, taking your time. Inhaling, cobra or up dog, and exhale back into downward facing dog. Inhale, once here, and exhale, and look between your hands, step or hop up. Inhale, rising up, and exhale, hands to heart. Really nice, you can go ahead and turn towards the right side of the mat, we're going to go ahead and bring our right foot apart so we're finding a wide-legged forward fold. You can relax your hands, and we're actually going to start with Devi Asana, or Goddess Pose. So on this one, look down, your toes go out, and your heels come in. So it feels a little bit awkward, but let the soles of your feet be on the mat. And when you're ready, we'll inhale our arms up. On the exhale, you exhale through your mouth and cactus arms. So inhale, reaching tall, exhale, bend the knees. Inhaling up. Inhaling. Twice more. Inhale on the exhale, bring the hands to the hips. Go ahead, turn your toes and heels out. So moving for a wide legged forward fold. Inhale, slight back bend if you'd like, and exhale, hinge up the hips, folding forward, let your hands come down. You can spread your feet a little bit wider and just let your head and neck relax. Allowing yourself to round down, maybe even walking your hands through your feet if you'd like. And breathe here for a few breaths. Go ahead, bring your hands back out in front, and then bring your hands to your hips. Let's inhale, rising up, and exhale. We're going to move into Devi Asana again. So this is some strong leg conditioning. The heels are in, the toes are out. Let's inhale our arms up, exhale through the mouth. Two more times. Once more. Inhale up. Then you can go ahead, turn both of your Toes and heels out like you're going to prepare for our wide legged forward fold. Exhale, arms to a T. We're going to move from here into warrior two. So keeping your hips facing the right side of the room, go ahead, turn that left foot. This is going to be our front towards the front of the room. 45 degree angle on that right foot. And on the exhale, deep bend into the front knee. So notice how your hips are staying very low if possible. Arms are straight. Go ahead, look over. That left middle finger, if possible, be careful that your front knee isn't going in or out. It should be directly over the ankle. Be careful not to arch around too much. Really keeping nice length. Up 
with the crown of your head. One more breath. Let's inhale, rise and center. Turn that left foot back in. On the exhale, right foot facing the back of the room. And then on the exhale, bend that right knee over ankle, arms to a T. 45 degree angle on that back foot. Go ahead and exhale, look over that right hand. Inhaling and exhaling, sitting a little bit deeper if you can so that you have a 90 degree angle in that front foot if possible. Breathing through one more breath. So then inhaling, arms up, go ahead, turn both feet in. Exhale, arms to your T. Inhale, slight back bend. And on the exhale, we're gonna fold forward once again. And this time, bring your hands so they are under your face. So you're not gonna be too, too bent. If this is hard for you, once again, we'll use a block. So bringing the block under the right hand if you'd like, pressing it down. We're going to open up to the left side. So inhale, left arm comes up for Prasarita Bhattasana. Strong in the shoulders. And notice if you're twisting from your hips. So it's your low back, mid back, head and neck, not just turning your neck. Breathing through here, one more breath. On the exhale, bring that left arm down. Same thing, you can place a block under the hand if necessary. Inhale, watch that right arm come up. So opening the chest. And be careful that your hips stay over. The legs reaching tall, really nice. Breathing through here, one more breath. On the exhale, bring the hands down. Then you can push into the feet, hands at your hips, and let's inhale, rise. Go ahead and walk your feet together. And then you can turn toward the front of the mat and go ahead and walk yourself up. You can kind of shape it out a little bit and the ankles and the arms. The warrior sequences, a lot of the standing poses are very strong conditioning for our legs, our quads, our glutes. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and move into a warrior one. So I am facing you because you wanna keep both your hips facing the front of the room. Warrior two is a little bit easier than warrior one. You can go ahead and bring your feet together. That's comfortable, hands to the heart, pouring the weight into the right foot, let's go ahead, inhale, lift the left, and exhale, take a big step back, about three feet or so, and make sure you have a 45 degree angle on that back left foot, let the hips come face the front of the room, so that means the right hip comes back as the left is forward, keeping your chest facing forward. Let's inhale the arms up, sinking a little bit deeper. Maybe your stance needs to adjust. If you're having a hard time getting the hips and chest facing forward, go ahead and Expand your stance. One more breath here. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper. Inhaling up. Exhale, go open to warrior two. So notice how your hips open to that left side. And maybe you sink a little bit deeper. Gaze is forward once again. One more breath. Inhale to reverse. And exhale, extended side warrior. So bring that left arm up and over, letting the head and neck relax. And same thing as we did in those twists, really inhaling, opening from your low back, mid back, upper back to face toward the sky if that's possible. Any and all variations are welcome here. One more breath. Let's inhale, rising up, straighten the front leg, and exhale the hip shift back as you lean forward, finding trikonasana or triangle. And once again, you're welcome to have that right hand on a block on your shins, maybe it's even floating. One more breath, inhale, use that left arm to bring you back up, and exhale, sink into warrior two. Then you can inhale, rise and up, hands on hips, turning both your feet to face the left side, I'm gonna switch, and then you can just exhale, folding over, relaxing here. And we'll take a slightly different variation, you can go ahead and walk your hands, out in front of you, lengthening. And then as we did in that beginning, exhale, let your underarms relax. And if your headstand is in your practice, you're welcome to try it here. We'll come back again in the next round. If you're ready to come out, bring your hands back underneath your face, press down into the feet, hands to hips, inhale to rise. And then on your exhale,
exhale, go ahead, shuffle your feet together towards the center of the mat. Relaxing, bending and straightening. We'll just move to the left side and then begin to wind down. So from here, you can go ahead, same thing here. I like to kind of rock forward and back, especially after doing one side so that we exhale and find that middle point of balance in our feet. The knees are slightly bent, the hands to the heart, remembering that intention if you set it. Inhaling all those good things and exhale, relax. Go ahead, pour the weight into the left foot. Inhale, pick up the right. And on the exhale, big step back for warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. You can look at your right foot to make sure you have that 45 degree angle because we really want the weight kind of in the pinky toe edge. As we exhale, let the hips face forward. Inhale, the arms rise up. So like two headlights on a car, you really want the hips facing forward. You really want the chest facing forward. Even if the hips are tough, Try and keep the chest and the gaze towards the front of the room. Breathing through, inhale, exhale, sinking a little bit deeper, keeping that knee over the front ankle. Maybe you adjust the stance. Core is engaged, shoulders are relaxed. One more breath. On the exhale, opening to warrior two. So deep bend in the front knee, the hips are facing the right side. Shoulders relaxed, chest is open. The neck is turned. Weight into that. Right pinky toe on the back side. One more breath. You can exhale, sink a little bit deeper. Let's inhale, reverse the warrior. And exhale, coming through extended side angle. That right arm can reach overhead. Relax the head and neck. Sink a little bit deeper. One more breath. Exhale, sinking deeper. And when you're ready, we'll inhale, coming back up. Warrior two, straighten the front leg. Inhale, exhale, the hip shift back as you lean forward. And let the arm come up, the left arm comes down, finding its comfortable place. And letting your whole torso twist, not just the head. Taking some weight out of that left hand if possible. One more breath. Using that right hand, let's inhale, rise it back up. And then you can go ahead, bring your hands to your hips. Turn that left foot in, and we're going to find our wide-legged forward fold last time. Inhaling, slight back bend if available. Exhale, folding forward. You're welcome to have any or all variations here if you want to kind of go to the left foot for a little bit, go to the right foot. If tripod headstand is in your practice, you can do that. I'll lead you through that. Let the top of your head onto the mat, really feeling the length in your upper body. Press down into the palms and just gently let your legs rise using your core. Feet come together. Choose your breath. Maybe it's one, maybe it's two or three. On the exhale, let the legs open, turn down, and then gently coming out of it. Wherever you are, go ahead, bring your hands under your face, bring your hands to your hips. Let's inhale, rise. And exhale, scooching your feet together and shaking it out. A lot of times standing poses can be a little intense on the lower body, but it's so good for bringing a lot of vitality, especially if we haven't been able to get out and do as much exercise as we might like right now. We'll go ahead and just do a little bit of balancing postures once you've kind of gotten that security in your feet and your legs. So let's go ahead, really looking down, making sure our toes and our feet are relaxed, bending the knees, let's inhale and exhale, rocking forward. Go ahead, bring the hands to the heart, feet are steady. We're gonna do an interesting balance on the inhale, let's bring our arms up and then we're gonna come up onto our tippy toes. So really pushing down into the foot pads, Pushing down into the feet. Breathing through here, one more breath. And on the exhale, gently lowering down. Nice. Pour the weight now into your right foot. We're gonna move into tree or chasana. So the weight is in your right foot. You can kickstand your left. If you wanna bring it a little bit higher, you can go ahead and do that. Hands at the heart. If you're moving to more advanced variation, go ahead and kind of tuck that left foot into the right hip crease. 
inhale, float in your arms wherever you're at, keeping the length of your spine, drishti or point of focus in front of you. One more breath. On the exhale, gently go ahead and undo that. We'll relax here. And then you can go ahead, rocking forward on your toes, your heels, the hands can be at the heart. Exhale, relax your feet down. Inhale, the arms up. We're gonna come onto those tippy toes again, push down into all 10 toes, into your foot pads, reaching taller through your hands, relax in the shoulders, feeling the length in the entire body. Exhale, gently coming down, hands through heart, pouring the weight now into your left foot. We'll invite tree on the other side. You can go ahead and kickstand that left foot. Maybe this is the variation for you. If you want to inhale the arms up, otherwise help your foot a little bit higher into the thigh or even find that hip crease. Wherever you are, really letting that left knee open to the left side. One more breath and exhale, hands to heart. Release the foot and shake it out. Really nice. From here, we're gonna begin to wind things down, making our way towards the mat. So you can go ahead, let your feet be a couple inches apart. That's totally fine. Letting your glutes relax, letting your hands come to your heart. On the inhale, sweeping your arms up. And on the exhale, folding forward. Dana Fana Uttanasana, nice forward fold. And you're welcome to bring your hands to clasp at your low back. Inhaling and opening, bending your knees and letting your chest relax on the knees, letting the head and neck relax. And if you're comfortable here, you slowly push down into your feet, keeping your chest glued to your thighs to let the back of the legs straighten. And on the exhale, let your hands come back down. You can trace the back of your legs, letting the energy move into your feet. And when you're here, go ahead and toe heel your feet apart so your toes are out, your heels are in. You might want to have a block as so we move into Malasana or Yogi Squat. On the exhale, bend your knees. Maybe this is as far as you go if you need to have your hands out. Maybe you sit on a block. If you're comfortable, you go ahead and bring your elbows to knees, knees into elbows. And breathing through here, if you're really comfortable, try closing your eyes. Notice if you're able to relax a little bit more than in your shoulders, letting your heart be open. Feeling your feet really supporting your entire body here. If crow is in your practice and you want to try that now, you're welcome. Otherwise, just stay in the lasana. When you're ready, you can exhale, place the hands forward. And then I just like to scooch back however you get to the mat. You can bring your feet around. Go ahead, we'll do one more nice balancing here. And that's boat, Navasana. So go ahead, your feet will be about knee hip distance apart, clasping behind your thighs. Let's inhale, opening the chest, really pressing down into the two sit bones. And when you're ready, inhale, lift your legs so your shins are parallel to the ground. Maybe this is where you stay. If you want to reach your arms up, you can do that. If you want to straighten your legs, you can do that. Really breathing through. If you're comfortable, you can clasp your big toes and do a wide-legged version. Keeping your chest or heart open, avoid rounding as you've been doing this whole practice. And when you're ready, wherever you're at, just exhale, gently release. And you can go ahead, keeping your hands clasped behind your thighs. Exhale, and lower down. You can extend your legs for a few breaths, circling with the feet. Find it nice if you inhale, overhead, clasping the hands and flipping the palms to the face towards the back of the room. Really inhale and getting a nice stretch along the front of the body. Exhale and softening, relaxing. Inhale and once again, and just exhale. And releasing the whole body, hands come to the sides. And we'll move here through a nice bridge. When you're ready, you can go ahead, bend your knees. We'll have a 
walk if you'd like to do a restorative version. If not, just stay where you're at. You can keep your heels walking in towards your fingertips. Let's inhale, and on the exhale, push down to rise your low back, mid back, upper back. You're welcome here if you want to walk your shoulders underneath, pushing down. If you want to use the block, you can scooch it under your low back at any height. And that can be really relaxing. And just breathing through here, letting the hips be open. One more breath. If you have a block, go ahead and remove it. And on the exhale, you can lower down. Go ahead, extend the legs. You go ahead where you're at. We'll do a little bit of hip opening. So you can inhale, hugging in that right knee, giving it a nice squeeze. Letting the left hip relax. Left toes face towards the sky. You can bring that left arm to the side and take this right knee. We'll inhale and exhale, inviting some circles, kind of like how we did that wind release exercise in the beginning, standing. Taking the circles in the other direction, just giving it a really nice opening. And then you can go ahead, pausing in the center, hugging it again. This time the left hand comes to the outside of our right knee, right arm is open, and on the exhale, crossing it over the left side of your body. If comfortable, you can exhale and let your head and neck fall to the right side, maybe. Let your eyes relax, let your shoulders relax. Just feeling a nice stretch, letting the energy we've cultivated move through the entire body. And breathing through. You can soften your gaze, maybe close your eyes if you're comfortable. Hugging our left knee to the chest, giving it a nice squeeze, right toes face towards the sky. And same thing, taking that left hand, your right hand can come to the side, doing a few circles, guiding that left leg in the hip socket. Inhaling and exhaling. You can take the circles in the other direction. You know, maybe you don't go too big on the circle, that's totally fine. Maybe you just go a little bit side to side, back and forth, whatever your body's feeling is totally fine right now. Pausing in the center, we're gonna switch the hands. So the right hand comes to the outside of the left knee, left arm is open. And on the exhale, crossing that left knee over your body, getting a nice spinal twist. On the exhale, your head and neck can look over towards the left side if that feels okay for you. Breathing in to this midsection, breathing in to all those good internal organs, allowing your body to relax onto the earth, feeling a really nice spinal twist from the base of your spine to the crown of your head, just a really nice digestion, for calming the nervous system, for bringing out anything physical, mental we no longer need, just letting it relax and float away as you sink deeper, deeper into the posture. And when you're ready, inhaling that left leg back to center, exhaling, relaxing it long. Go ahead and take a reclined butterfly. So bring the soles of your feet to touch, knees are out. And as always, it's a little more intense if your feet are in towards your body, a little more relaxing if they're away. 
if you have any props to put under your knees, you're welcome to do that. And just pause in here for a few moments. Arms can be at a T, they can be 45 degree angle, or you can even kind of do the cactus arms if you'd like to get more into the chest and pectoral muscles. Go ahead and let your eyes relax. Let the front of your body open. Let the back of your body be soft. standing so really letting your back body sink into the mat letting your knees relax open as you breathe just letting your exhale sink you deeper and heavier the inhales rise you're from the low belly mid belly opening into the upper chest exhaling relaxing the upper chest mid belly low belly Can go ahead and inhale the knees in the center. You can hug them into your chest, and rocking side to side, giving the back a nice massage here, keeping your spine on the mat. And if it feels good, you're welcome to take some circles with both your knees here now. In one direction, maybe into the other. You can go ahead and either keep hugging your knees in or take a happy baby if that's in your practice, grasping inner or outer sides of the feet. Same thing, you're welcome to rock side to side. Sometimes that can feel really nice. And just breathing through. And then exhale, bring your feet back down. We'll wrap up with a shoulder stand. If shoulder stand isn't in your practice, you're welcome to do legs at the wall. I have a wall here conveniently. So you move from the side to bring your feet up. They can be slightly apart, your arms wide, and that's super relaxing. Letting your knees soften. If you're gonna move into full shoulder stand, let's move through plow first. So go ahead, bring the hands down, inhale the knees up, and exhale them over behind your body, keeping the length in the upper body, hands to the low back, and let's inhale, rising the feet up, either bent or straight. And softening here, wherever you're at, really allowing the feet, the toes to relax, the ankles to relax. Letting the calves, the knees to soften. Letting the hamstrings, the quads to soften down into your hips all the way along. Your pelvis, your midsection, your neck, your arms, your shoulders. You're welcome to stay here as long as you like. If you're ready to come out of your shoulder stand, go ahead and exhale, bring the feet back through plow, taking your time, letting the energy dissipate and exhale, slowly rolling down, using your core to bring your feet towards the mat and relaxing. If you're in your legs at the wall position that you've gone to, you're welcome to stay here for even longer. If you want to do your final Shavasana here, you can do that. If you'd like a supine lying Shavasana, a regular Shavasana, you can bend the knees, roll to one side, and then scoot yourself back onto the mat wherever you are. Just know that that's a good choice for you. You're welcome to come out of it if it gets uncomfortable. If you'd like to put on socks or sweater or blanket, now is the time. And go ahead and rock your hips side to side if you're in Shavasana. Maybe letting your feet and hands take up more room, a little bit wider than normal today. And 
as you inhale, go ahead and bring the awareness into that right foot. And as you exhale, let that right foot relax. On your next inhale, bring your awareness to your right lower leg, knee, upper leg. And as you exhale, let your whole right leg relax. Bring your awareness down to your left side. As you inhale, bring your awareness to that left foot, left toes, left ankle. And as you exhale, let that left foot relax and soften. Your next inhale, bringing the awareness to your left lower leg, knee, the upper leg, quad. And as you exhale, just letting that whole left leg relax. On your next inhale, bring your awareness to your pelvis, your hips. If you like, on your inhale, you can go ahead and squeeze the glutes. And on your exhale, just soften your glutes, your hips, your low back. The inhales gently rise from your midsection and gently fall, feeling the heaviness in your lower body. Bringing awareness up through your midsection to your shoulders, down your right arm. As you inhale, feeling your right fingertips, hand, wrist, the right arm. And as you exhale, just letting that right arm soften and relax totally onto the mat. As you inhale, feeling your left arm, the left fingertips, hand, wrist, all the way up that left arm. And as you exhale, just soften and let it fully relax. On your next inhale, feeling the awareness in your shoulders and your neck. And as you exhale, just let the back of the shoulders, the neck, the jaw soften. Allowing the jaw to soften, the eyes to soften, sinking back in their sockets. On the inhale, sticking your tongue up to the sky. And on the exhale, just let it sink back into your mouth, into the throat. Bringing that relaxation to the entire back of your head, the crown of your head. And go ahead. Breathe here and just relax in our final Shavasana, letting go of any and all effort. This time is for you, just for you.
welcome to stay here if you'd like a longer shavasana in your home. If you're ready to move out of it, go ahead and bring some gentle movement to your hands and your feet. Taking your time, you can eventually bend your knees. You're welcome to stretch overhead or hug in your legs if that feels good. And slowly taking your time, roll onto one side. Using your hands, let's go ahead and push yourself gently, gently up to your final seat. Once you arrive, you can close your eyes. Go ahead, bring your hands to your heart, feeling your legs relaxed, feeling your spine tall, feeling the quality of your physical body, the quality of your breath, noticing the quality of your mental state, your emotional state. Maybe recalling that nice intention you might have set earlier in practice with your hands and prayer, and allowing that to guide you not just on the mat, but through the rest of your day, knowing that you can embody all these qualities within yourself. By embodying these qualities, you can touch those around you. Thanking yourself for taking the time to practice, noticing how important it is to care for yourself, especially during these times. And I thank you for practicing too. The light in me recognizes the light in you. Namaste. Take your time getting up, moving with grace and ease throughout the rest of your day.